Hi, I'm Carolina, and I'm nine. I came from Barjanks. Carolina's parents are mentors in the Orphan's Promise Transition Home, a shelter for children deprived of parental care. The girl was growing up in a large and happy family with 16 teenagers beside her. But everything changed one day. There was such a loud sound on the first day of the war. My mom woke me up and I saw the whole sky colored red, like blood. But Dunks is full of these soldiers, the Russians. They are at each entrance. They even took the children away. I had goosebumps after each explosion, and I even cried. The children are sitting in the basements without moms, dads, without water, without food. The port city was occupied by Russian troops in the first days of the war. The family hid in the basement, but at the earliest opportunity, they continued to implement the Orphan's Promise mission to preach the gospel in word and deed, supporting the refugees from Mariupol and residents of the city. It was becoming more and more dangerous in the city. Shelling, lack of food, and even announced by the occupiers' hunt for those who actively helped the people. So the family decided to evacuate. Then we quickly began to get ready. My mom was packing things. The girls were crying. The sounds as if there were three explosions above our place. And then we went down and began to pray. At the last Russian checkpoint, the Russians placed a machine gun near the bus evacuating Karolina and her family. They began shelling Ukrainian positions. It's just a miracle that the Ukrainian military did not return fire and Karolina's family remained unharmed. I knew that it was far away, that God was protecting us, and that there were angels around us. But I still worried about everyone. There were mines everywhere on our way to Zaporozhye. When the family arrived in a safe place, their friends from the Orphan's Promise team surrounded them with love and care. They were finally able to sleep in warmth and silence for the first time in many days since the war began. It is good. I got used to being here. Having delivered the family to a safe place, Karolina's father and some older kids came back to bring hope and help to the people who are deprived of basic things, safety, food, water. My mom tells me to bless my dad every time I miss him, so I do. I pray for him and bless him. My dad says that God is with us, that everything will be fine, and that God protects such people. Thanks to your support, Karolina's family, like thousands of other Ukrainians, succeeded in this long and dangerous journey. Although they had to leave their home, they have maintained their unity and their faith.